Hello everyone, it's Jason here and welcome back to our Minecraft Survival Series. Ooh, yeah. Today I'm just gonna... Isn't, uh, yeah, there's monsters nearby. I think I see... Are you the problem? Are you becoming the problem there, Creeper? No, I think you're good to stay there. Okay, you're the problem. Those... Those be the problem. Um, I'm just gonna deal with this little issue. <gasps> oh, I do not want you going off, sir. No, thank you. Not today. Not today. Not in a million years. Thank you, but no thank you. Oh, maybe we can get a disc from it if we get... Nah, screw it. I ain't, I ain't gonna risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Oh, is that all, mate? Go on, you can hit a bit harder than that, surely. Surely. Nah, I couldn't. Alright, you... Right, you creeper. Want to be extra careful with... Or maybe not. Yeah, keep forgetting creepers uh, don't do as much damage in water. This thing you can't forget. This is being saved by the water. Maybe we should just make a moat around this little shack. Or well, better still, maybe I should start moving my stuff out, you know? I don't really need to be here. I... I don't really have a purpose in this shack. I've got a nice house over there. And, uh, it would be a real shame you know, not to use it. So I think we'll we'll start packing up our stuff. We'll just get out of here. Uh, what? Hmm. Oh, okay, we won't just demolish the entire chest. We'll sort some stuff out, alright? This is this will be a sorting chest, you see. I think we have chests there already, so that should take care of that issue. Uh, can we take any more things? Can we take uh Can we no, can't take any more things? We've got anything in the furnace that might be useful. Ah yes, that might be useful. Um wood in case we really need to make a little chest. Uh we might we might need to. We're going to have different, um, we're going to have a sorting bay, maybe on the next floor. So this, do you know this sorting bay? Maybe yeah, I should have a separate building. I'm thinking this should be the CEO complex here. This is where all the main business gets done, the serious stuff. You know, um, just uh, pop some of this stuff here. Some of this stuff's going to go back into my inventory. But for, the, for now, most of it can just be put here. Put to rest. Um, speaking of rest, we could do with putting a bed down here. Nice central location, so I so I avoid mobs while I'm sleeping. Uh, generally looks quite aesthetically pleasing as well. Um, what else? What else do we need? What's the farm for chickens that are going to join the mafia? Really, really need. You know, we, we, we're, we're trying, trying to provide the best possible future for our chickens, you know. Um, free range? Ish. I mean, they're in a giant, giant pen, but they're not in those, you know, those big, big just small coops, you see. see. Those little cages. Um, in, in, in some, like, documentaries where it's just like, you know, there's flipping, there's flipping chickens in a cage. Are you happy now, PT? You got something to moan about? Ugh, gosh. What am I talking about? Yeah, free range stuff tends actually it tends to taste better, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure it might be psychological, but I've noticed a difference. Perhaps it's just placebo. That is a beautiful waterfall. Beautiful stuff. Get out. Get in here. Get him. Get in! Right. Put all my stuff in there, include my first set of wooden tools. Gonna pop my CD disc in there. So I can listen to my tunes. Tunes! And what do we need from here? Well, we need our pickaxes. Of course. Of course! Do the axe. Bow. Nah, maybe not. Oh yeah, better safe than sorry. And while we're here, we might as well take take some wood. Good wood, wood, good dark wood. 
Ist, ist gut, Bock, ist gut, gut. Ist gut. What do I have to eat around here? What do we have to eat? I'm just gonna look up how to make pumpkin pie real quick. Because that could be useful. I could. Oh, eggs. Well, it's not like we have anything that produces eggs. Oh, wait! We do. We also have sugarcane. Let's see how our sugarcane farm is going on. We might, we might not harvest any for the purpose of using it for sugar right away, but what I will do is I will start multiplying the sugarcane production. So we can have multiple sugarcane stalks, get more sugarcane, and before you know it, bam! Instant sugarcane exception, you know? It's going to be all good, guys. It's going to be great. Do we have any stone? Oh, yes, cobblestone. Fantastic. We need to make a furnace in this building. This establishment needs a furnace. Not a furnace, just a furnace. That, that could be our company motto. I am full of great ideas today. I'm on fire, ladies and gentlemen, and it's only a Wednesday. Wednesday morning! Ugh, gotta go to college this afternoon. Ah, but in, apart from that, it's all gonna be good. I think we'll just leave the rest of that wood in there. We've got a whole stack to use. Uh, and I think either in this episode or the next, we'll definitely go down the mine. In fact, what am I talking about? Of course, we'll go down the mine in this episode. Get our seeds out. We, yeah, we definitely moved everything out. Oh my god, I'm paranoid. Paranoia. It's getting to me. In a way, skeletons are some of my favourite mobs, because, unlike zombies, you're not going to use rotten flesh unless you're desperate. Alright? And you got a lot of it. Um, but bones, they got multiple uses. You can make uh, bone meal, which in turn can make dyes. It can be used as a die at least. It can be used for making trees grow, except for when you really need it to. You need to test whether the dark oak grows in a certain way, it doesn't work, and then you get irritated and you start making references to episodes where that exact event happened, and then you start telling people that they should go see that episode because the rage is funny. You know, stuff like that. Stuff like that happens. Oh man. Chickens are going to love all this feed. They're going to be loving it. See, there's only one thing that turns chickens on, and that's lots of feed. Lots of it. You know, you know what I find particularly weird, right? There are no roosters in Minecraft. Now, chickens, or hens at least, are females. So, they need to be fertilised in order to produce eggs. Yeah, the chickens in Minecraft, they're producing eggs left, right, forth and centre. In fact, I might have to harvest some when we get back. But the point stands! What's fertilising all these chickens? Is there a chicken chicken shagger about? Shagging my chickens. Is there some elusive creature that shags chickens? Makes them produce eggs. All across the land it roams the wilderness. Shagging chickens. It's invisible too, and it has like, I don't know, it's like a, I, I, I don't know how to describe it, it'll just be a beast of a creature, you know? Like a giant, invisible ch chicken rooster thing. Because I'm shagging all the chickens. It's a terrifying thought, I know. Oh, great, my control bar is low. Well, that is just charming right there, isn't it? When you, when you at least need them to be low on batteries. So, I'm just going to go check on my chickens. Chickens! You feeling randy? You feeling randy? You barely laid any eggs. Mate, this is terrible. There we go. Oh, we got another one. That was, that was quick. That was, that was quick. Which... So, not surprisingly, is exactly what she said. Oh, there's going to be a new cave. I had to discover some new caves in the video that I tried to upload before. That's all the way up, up over there. Shall we go for a little ponder? 
Is that music going to be copyrighted? Oh cool, more sugar cane. Boom. Problems have been solved. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Mm. stick that through. Stick a gun and stick a on you. Man, I love that waterfall so much. It, it just makes my my existence every every time I see it is br is brilliant. Ah, the wilderness, the greatest place to take a shit ever. Now, how's that cave system? Oh no, the sun's setting. There's an entire Minecraft song dedicated to reasons why you shouldn't mi mine at night. Well, I only have one thing to say to that. Very serious. Let's ignore it completely. What's the worst that can happen? You're in the ground, mobs are going to spawn anyway. That's bullshit. It's just, it's just the market trying to, trying to con you out of your hard-earned ore. You know, you, you try to earn this ore, the market's like, nope, we're going to con you with our own scam. Our own intellectually devised scam. By saying that, I have realised I might not have a single clue where the sod that mine, that cave system was. Sure might be a bit buggered. Right, we're going to make our way down carefully, we don't have to lose any hearts. I'll put us in a bad disposition. Whoa. Whoa. We will we will tell our descendants of this. That glitch. Okay, is this one of them? No, it's just a puddle. Well, we're buggered. We're buggered, Harry. <gasps> Wait, no, is this oh is this case and please say this case system? Case system case system case system case system. We don't have any... <laughs> we don't have any torches! <laughs> Why did I forget to take torches with me? I hear... Every single problem with me... Get him! Get him! Boop. Oh, we've got it, ladies and gents. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. All we need to do is make some sticks. Then torch is coming our way. How did I get this? A second bow. Did I kill skeleton recently? Yeah, I think I did. Eh, oh well. Any logical response? Do. This this all deposit sure is generous on the coal front. It just came at ro the right time, you know. Oh wow, leads right into an iron vein. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. This is this is exactly what I'm talking about here. Oh. Uh, shout out to all my viewers who are uh, watching this. With that, I, I'll work, I'll work on a sword to been deposit later. But for now, I'm going to warm myself in. And on top of that, I think I'm going to go get some new batteries for my controller. Um, let's go. There we go. So that. Hey, perfect. Nothing can disturb me now. Now I'm in my nice, safe little, uh, zone. Trapped, you might say. But, um, thank you for watching today, ladies and gents. I've been just Paul McDermott, and you've been fantastic. And I'll make sure that I see you on the next video.